Hey, this is Josh from Fog of War, and you're listening to Poppet's Corner. What is going on, everyone? Tanner Poppet here. Thank you very much for listening to another episode of Poppet's Corner. Um, this technically isn't really an episode, uh, a traditional episode of Poppet's Corner, I should say. Um, I had just gotten word this morning as I am uh, um, putting this whole thing together and trying to wrap my head around it, but um, the passing of a brother of ours, a huge player in our community, and, um, well, needless to say, um, Mr. Adrian Mejia has crossed over, is, um, and, uh, it made me start realizing just how important he was, not only to Madras's um, history, and not just the L.A. history, but you know, all of all of the metal community here worldwide. It didn't matter if you were a local band or a big band. He treated everybody the same and didn't ask for a dime in return. Um, and I just wanted to pay some sort of tribute to him. I remembered us doing an interview a long time ago when I was doing um, getting my start into radio on with the Mr. Benny the Breeze. Uh, during the KTST days, and this is actually the last episode of um, the Monday Night Mayhem that I was doing with uh, with Benny, and we had Metal Invictus on the actual show, and Adrian was was a part of it, and um, well, you get to hear him him speak about a lot of cool things, um, and I just wanted to share this interview with you guys, and hopefully. You get something more from him and learn a little bit more about Adrian, and um, I was hoping that this would be a good tribute to him. So, anyways, let's get on with the show. Here's uh, here's our interview with Metal Invictus. All right, throw those slides. All up. right, there you go. There you go. KTST. KTST of Anaheim dot com. Welcome. This is your metal, uh, Monday Night Mayhem. It's a, the last Monday Night Mayhem because we're going to Wednesdays next it week. It is. It is. So we got the we got the all the guys in. Uh, Metal Invictus here. What's up? We do. What's How's it going, on? man? Hey, what's going on? What's going on? So introduce yourselves. Let us know who you are. Well, uh, my name's Jim, and uh, I kind of uh, started with Metal Invictus with Angie uh, a couple years ago, and I'm also a guitar player for Doomsayers. Might need to get closer to that mic. That's you don't a, be yeah, there you, there you go. go. All right, right. There all right. My name's Caesar, and I'm currently playing with uh, Tanner Poppet at Madras. We are? And, <laughs> well. But, it, so, so, so what do you do? For Metal Victims. Let's explain oh. like yeah, what so you guys how, Yeah, so what is it? What, what is the company? Is it recording, uh, engineering? What do you guys got going on? Well, it's basically an event promotion company. Okay. Uh, we put together, uh, you know, some of the, uh, like, uh, underground bands coming out of the underground. We put them up on stage. All right. Yeah, I totally blew that event. one, didn't I? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we also got, we got Adrian around we do. here somewhere, but he's... Well, he's, he, he will be back. Uh, he's incapacitated down the hall for a second. He's indisposed at the yeah, moment. Yeah, at the moment. Yeah. So not a wor- not a, no worries. So uh, uh, you guys get the underground bands. You come out. Uh, you got any bookings coming up? Stuff going on? Well, yeah, actually, uh, we're yeah. gonna hopefully this spring we can release our long-awaited uh, debut album. And uh, you guys got an album too? Well, we uh, with all the bands, or is it just you guys? Because well, I have that little thing too. <laughs> well, we have well Metal Victors. We in Metal Victors we have a show coming up. It's okay. a Night Demon show. Uh, it's going to be on Friday, uh, January twenty third. So it's this Friday. I mean, this Friday. Wow, I'll, I'll be at I'll be the airliner bar in LA. The big house over here. <laughs> yeah, the big white dome over here is where I'm going to be. Nice. So, really I, what too. times? What time you guys go on? Well, the show uh, um, shows starts about at I want to say what seven. Okay. Door seven usually goes till about one thirty. What uh, time are you guys going on stage? Oh, we actually, we're we're the promoter for you're this. You're the pro- okay, so yeah, they're the promoters. Promoter. There you go. That's yeah. what I yeah. Yeah. See, I just did it again, didn't I? Yes, yeah, you did. Did you see what I did? <laughs> did you see what I did? I'm there? trying to see what yeah, you do. He said he had an album coming out. Yeah, and I, yeah, that's he, what he I plays asked in him. a band as well. Right. Yeah. 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 See, that's okay. The knob. My what, cross. Why don't Why don't we let everybody yeah. know what band you play for? Well, I play in Doomsayers. Ah. Uh-huh. Okay. And what about you, man? What I do I do sound for Metal Invictus and I. Play drums for Madras and uh, Doomsayers occasionally. So, <laughs> all right, I all like right, that. I like cool, that. cool, 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 man. So, uh, you guys, uh, so 
how long has this company been around that you, you've been putting together? How long is it, you know, promoting bands and uh, putting the gigs on? How long has this been? We started in uh, November 2011. Okay. So wow. About relatively three years new. now. Relatively new. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Yeah, cool. In uh, short time, we've managed to get a couple of reviews on the Alley Weekly. As uh, you know, some of our shows have been considered some of the better shows to go see. You know, I think they do a uh, you know best show to see this month. We've got a couple of those. Sweet. Heck yeah. Right on. Right on. So. Uh, yeah, they have. They've developed a, a, a rep in, in in the past like three years. Mm-hmm. It's that it's that short time span. They've developed like a. Very good rep in the LA underground scene. Well, that's so. all. That, that that's, that's why awesome. we that's why we have that's him on here to showcase him. Well, cool. So, so my question okay. is, why why should everybody go through you guys to book shows rather than somebody else? Like, why why do you feel your formula is working as opposed to some of the others? Well, I, I think that uh, it's too closer to the mic, man. So we can yeah. The you. big one I think is is um, we never really required bands to do pre-sale tickets except for the latest show, which which with Incantation. Being the exception, right, but, but you had yeah you yeah. had some help with with yeah, Church of the Eight Day and stuff. Okay, yes, right. Yeah, it was like a split show. So. Yeah, so but, but like the shows that you the throw. our shows basically they we we don't we don't try to make the bands uh, sell any tickets whatever. Okay, hey, there he is. All right, there's Adrian. Yeah, Amen. Sit down. Yeah, <laughs> put some cones on and let's yeah, uh, have join, a join us for a while. Okay, so so yeah, so uh, nice. continue. So why, yeah, Jim? So why Jimmy, why should should people go through you guys? Like, what do you... Well, we, um, you know, our, our spot, or, I mean, like I said, we, we didn't have to deal with, uh, you know, a lot of the... Basically, we didn't have to deal with a lot of the... Uh, you know, I've been in a band before. I think that's why we do that. We we didn't want so to you deal have with promoters and yeah, have yeah, to deal so with selling tickets, and it was... We wanted to be able to offer bands doing that something opportunity. Doing different, yeah. Like how yeah. they did in the olden days. And the stuff. olden days. I mean, well, uh, at least the one shot, you know. <laughs> so, you, I mean, that, you actually you know. book them yourselves? I mean, are you, yeah, he, so him you go and, out him and you get the venue and put together the bands, or do you guys well, uh, well, have like four or five there's, of them? There's another person who isn't here. Uh, her, her name's Angie uh, Gabriel. Caesar's, oh, I knew it was a, I knew uh, it was a chick. I knew it, because um, none of us guys uh, can do that yeah. stuff. <laughs> no, but she but she yeah, uh, like reaches the, out. She, she yeah. books more See? of the bands than Jim. Jim's kind of like... The, the face. Yeah. That's well, what I'm well, he's the, well, no, she's the face. She's the face. Well, but yeah, no, but, face. But, but Jim books, it's like half and half. Okay. So we shouldn't, All we're right. not going to. Yeah, basically. Well, no, give some props to her. Yeah. Yeah, course. Angie Angie basically runs our door and uh, she deals with most of the booking, um, drastically with the bands. We've, uh, we used to do, um, you know, what I would call like uh, scouting. Of course, we go, you know. Right. Go to yeah. Backyard parties, like not nothing that's out, you know, in venues yet. And try to look at these bands and, See which ones we, you know, we were able to pull in. Right, right. Um, just to mention, I mean, a couple quick ones we did. We was like Septic Slaughter when we found them. That opened up a whole new area of of, uh, of a whole other little scenes because I mean, everyone has these little scenes. Kinda, they do, you know. Right, and right. We're trying to bring yeah, them all together, to jam them all together yeah. in one place, right? In a safe zone, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> so when you put these on, how many bands you usually get? You guys go with a five or six bands, or you go multiple? Because I mean, then the set time drops down. Yeah. So well, we always well, had the consistency at time of uh, yeah. thirty okay. minutes. But uh, we usually try to. Try we're, we're, to we're fortunate enough to have two stages, so that really helps and, out. And Caesar, Caesar usually runs the upstairs. Yeah. And then uh, Jim usually runs the downstairs, so that's why. Oh, it, they make it, I got yeah. you. Okay. All right. All right. But yeah, you, the only difference between these two is that Jim books the bands. Yeah. There you go. All right. Basically, I'm, I'm out on the field, so I'm always. I'm always. He's like, he's like, he's kind of like the guy. The behind, guy behind yeah. the scenes, the guy in the shadow. Yeah, and then Adrian, we have we can't forget yeah, Adrian. Adrian so what's up, man? Uh, How you doing? Good. Talking to that thing over there. Yeah. Don't oh, be shy. Yeah. No, I'm I'm good. There you go. Come on, come on. Let me poke you. <laughs> <laughs> Get that thing, man. There you go. Yeah, no. grab a hold of it. There All right. You go. There. So okay, oh. so what is what is it, what is it that you do for for Metal Invictus? Uh, well, first of all, I want to thank you for. Oh, any, you, anytime, man. Anytime. You the it's your it's your show right now. So you guys too. Well, basically, my thing is capturing moments in Melody and Bixus, you know. Um, so he, you're the photographer. I do photography and, and I do videos okay. for the band. Uh, and, you know, like, I want, I just want to say that we want to do that because we want to share all the talent of yeah. you guys. Well, y- y- 
you want to capture the, the yeah. scene, what's happening yeah. now, right? So exactly. you, you, you're very important to the scene because you capture everything, <laughs> right? Like uh, seriously, we couldn't, us bands couldn't showcase ourselves without. Somebody doing that. Well, um, you know somebody's I mean? got like to take the shot. It's kind of like what got to be a record keeper. Yeah, you know? somebody's got to uh. keep the shot, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what. Well, yeah. he's capturing the scene. He's, I'm he's, the cr- uh, he's, Kodachrome. Yeah, he's capturing history. King. Is what it is in the well, scene. You thank know? you, man. Thank you. But um, he also does stuff yeah. for Metal Warzone. That's his company. Uh, uh, so how long has that been around for? Actually, uh, I got many projects now, but uh, the main focus on this is Metal Invictus. Okay. Because. Uh, I got LA drummers, I li- I got um, LA guitarists and LA basses, of course, and Metal Wars, as you say. But um, right now I'm just focusing in Metal Invictus. Of course, I, I cover all, you know, all the LA yeah, scene and all that, yes, but yeah. as a Metal <laughs> Wars song, but I want just to be as a Metal Invictus. You edit your own photos? Yeah, of course. Yeah? Mm-hmm. yeah, right on, right on. I I do the. Have video you done too. a calendar yet or anything like that? Well, for that's, that's, that's a plan actually. That's, ah, that's a plan that we have. Wow, uh, I can't keep giving you guys these nuggets, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's actually our plan. Uh, we okay. And uh, Jimmy uh, came with the idea, and actually it was Caesar. Uh, yeah. Caesar. Oh, that was Caesar. Was Caesar, Caesar, man. There you go. <laughs> actually, it was Benny, right? Oh, oh, no. oh no. Yeah. Okay. no, no, no. Okay, Let's just throw it around the table. Everybody throws out calendars. Yeah. So I, I, we kind of need a couple down here at the station when you guys get done. Yeah, you we're know, gonna, I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna do it. Uh, yeah. I, I would like a maidens of metal calendar. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that would be. That'd I mean, be awesome. Well, there you go. Either that or just a bunch of the bands that you guys have booked. Right. Each month, you know what I mean. Just put them in a month. Da 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 da. Right. Yeah. Of the bands, a great shot that you took. You know, and you guys promoted the shows. Boom, 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 man. Win, win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's cool. That's way cool. Thank you. Yeah. So I have so to be in there twice then. Cause yeah. <laughs> so Caesar, Caesar, how long? Yeah, there you go. How long you been in? How long you been in Madras? Madras been in like a year and a half now. Okay. Two years, going on two years. No, it's two <laughs> years this month. Were you on the uh, two, second album? Yeah. That's okay, you're not on the first, but the second. No, I'm not. Okay. He's on the good second, one. Yeah. yeah. Hey, whoa, <laughs> just. <laughs> wow, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, co-host is getting out of hand. <laughs> yeah. It's out of my and hands. It's out of his hands. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so uh, you're on the second album. Yep. Yeah. Yep, and how would you fun. feel about that when, you know, when you were uh, slamming your, riding your bike back there? Well, it was, it was intense because um, I, I joined the band. I had to learn all the uh, the previous stuff. And then right. after that, we went on tour, came back, we started writing. And then we just made the album in a couple of days, so... Basically uh-huh. worked my ass off the whole <laughs> the whole time that okay. I've been in this band. Like right. I haven't had no free time so far. You, and, right. me, you right. and me both, dude. You and me both. Yeah, All right. So. And then how long have you been with with Doomsayers? Yeah, Doomsayers. Like, how long is that project? Well, been off and on, for? probably like four years. Okay. Four years. So I mean, did you bring any music from them? No, but we have his old oh, band, which I'm going to play. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 Oh, you did brought... Oh, well, we I, got, I know what yeah, it was. We got one track or two. Yeah. yeah, I know what it was, but we would have had to bleep so much. Yeah, no. no, that was the, <laughs> oh, the, that was no, harder yeah, one. Yeah, that was oh. different. That was, oh. That was a harder right, attack. Then, oh, that my was, bad. Yeah, that was the... <laughs> <laughs> so, Jimmy, you play in a band, plus you have a you know this company, Metal Invictus, and you guys promote... You know, you, you're a promoter, yeah, basically. I, yes, I kind of... Which is cool, and you don't make your guys pre-sell their tickets. So, um... Where do you guys put your? I mean, how do they get a hold of you? How do? Uh, oh, we are. You, you know. can find us online. Uh, we're at uh, www.metalinvictus.com. Okay, just got that going, and um, all right. Basically, our booking information is there. You can contact us uh, usually by emails or uh, Facebook is what we work with. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, we try to. C- I mean, we we've getting we've been getting flooded with lots of. Uh, uh, band, interested bands, and uh, we just put up our. Uh, That's good. That's our nice. main is a metal event. Which All right. Is our our uh, kind of like our brand, I guess. We um, mm-hmm. we put figured a way to increase the ratio at shows, and just yeah. suggested way. Well, maybe we should put the chicks on stage. You know. There you oh, right <laughs> on, right on. Yeah, right she, on. Was yeah. Yeah. she was All the right. mastermind of that. Yeah, yeah. All right. There you that. go. And they're always good shows too. Yeah. Always. Yeah, those yeah. are our more suce- our most successful. Shows. All right. So that's where they get you at. Invictus.com. Mm-hmm. Metal okay. Invictus. Metal, Metal Invictus. Invictus. I mean, I'm sorry. Invictus. Metal yeah. Invictus. Yeah. So what, what about... Let, uh, let me mess it up some more. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so what about Adrian? Because right. I think Adrian has like a little thing too. Yeah, right? what do you, like, where can what people do you find got, you? man? Oh. In case they want pictures. La- ladies, if you could see what I see, <laughs> Adrian smoking. I mean, I, look, for a guy, I'm sorry, man, but 
Benny has a face for radio. Did we tell you that? <laughs> 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 all right, so Adrian, it's all you, man. Uh, Speak up. All right. Well, as I say, ma- mainly you can find me in Mal Invictus Facebook or www.malinvictus.com. No, actually, um, oh. no. Uh, you don't want to go there? No, it's, it's, it's basically... So, it's Metal basically and com and they look you up. Yeah. And okay. Metal Warzone well, is basically just a page of myself, you know. Okay, right. It's not like well, a real... Yeah, because you gave me a card and it says photographer. Oh, yeah. It's huge, a, yeah. huge. So, yeah, like big... Yeah. I got Caesar's yeah. card and there's like five things down here. <laughs> 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 hey, well, that, that's oh, a, that. There you go. That's all the stuff I could fit in in one card. <laughs> 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 I was just saying. Cool, man. You know? So, let's play, so some, right let's play some stuff that no, like I don't think a lot of people have heard. Let's showcase it, right? So All what right, are we going to hear? We're going to talk. We're, oh, we're definitely oh, going to come back and talk. Yeah, we're going to come back right. and talk. we got to play some, some Yeah, we're going to play some music. Yeah. KTST, yeah, FM, yeah, Anaheim's right, Home right. Radio. Hey, the NAM's going on. All the good stuff happening right smack dab in the middle of Anaheim. That's right. So what are we gonna what are we gonna hear? Oh, uh, this is a uh, it's an old track. Uh, it's not not too old, but it's kind of an experimental uh, recording we did. Um, uh, it's me and Caesar. Uh, yep. This is the Doomsayers. Okay. We call uh, the Rotting Remains. And cool. um, <laughs> yeah, I actually recorded that at my house. Oh yeah, when? Yeah. Uh, uh, it was uh, what? Twelve. I think I want to say 2012. Okay. So it's relatively new. Cool, man. KTSCFMAnaheim.com. Here's a little Doomsayers. All right, that was a little Madras that's frozen beneath the snow, only on KTSCFMAnaheim.com. Before that, we heard uh, a little shrapnel with uh, Prepare for the End. Before that, uh, I think we heard a little Doomsayers. What was the song called, Jim? Come on, get in here, man. What, what was wow. the song called? The first <laughs> the first one? The Rotting, I think it's... No, the, the little first intro the, was The Verdict, but uh, then we put The Rotting Remains right on. There you go. So that's what you heard on KTSCFMAnaheim.com. I'm Tanner Poppett, Benny the Breeze. Yeah. Uh, this is We're your Monday here. Night Mayhem, your Metal Mayhem. The last mo- uh, Monday Night Mayhem. You will see. You will hear us again next Wednesday with our buddies in Gutsaw. We're going to yeah, start doing this every Wednesday now. Yeah, we're Monday. moving to Wednesday nights, so, 9 to 11. Right. So, so uh, we'll post that. We'll get it all out there. Gutsaw, saw those guys at the Doll Hut uh, with our good buddy Jason Tyler and, uh, mm. you know, ADHD Entertainment uh, mm. and the Homeless One Productions. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, and uh, you know the doll hut's always going off every Monday night. But Gutsaw, man, I, I I just have to ask that guy how the sound. Oh, you, you'll get your chance. I will. Your I chance. know. You'll We're interviewing chance. these guys. So, right now. so we got the guys in, in Metal Invictus here, <laughs> Metal minus Invictus. minus the, uh, the the lady, of course. I know. Unfortunately, she didn't see she's me. not. She couldn't be here tonight. But <laughs> she married. We, would, we wish her well. Yeah, she's married. To that guy. Oh, she's married to that guy. Mm. Oh, she's got to be hot. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. No, <laughs> she, she's very, she's very high. Look at the smile on oh, his she's face. So you yeah. just made him blush. Awesome. Only on yeah, kgcfmanaheim dot com. That's him blush. right. That's right. Our, the first guy to ever blush in the studio. I know Caesar. Check him out. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Adrian, I, I asked these guys this question. I want to ask you because you were in the you know doing you're occupied and doing your thing. So. Occupado. <laughs> Occupado. Yes. Okay. Um, so right. what what k- makes uh, Metal Victus like what separates it? What sets it apart from like all the other LA promoters? Like, why why should people book through you guys? Do you think? Uh, like, I, what's your formula? Uh, as well. Well, I think the best reason is why, how we trade them. You know, how we share their passion and their talent. And our formula is, I, I want to say, it's very simple. Just you know, put them straight from. From the gigs, you know, from, from from the backyards and all that. Okay, okay. To you know, to a, a better stage, to a better place, you know. I think that's pretty much. What sets it apart? Yeah. That's a good answer. So you guys are good helpers. We. You're good helpers because you're in a ba- You guys were in bands before, whatever. But you're given an avenue to where other promoters are doing something different. You guys are doing a diff- totally different thing. No pre-sales. You get your book your gigs. Uh, and you they, know, book does everybody gig, they book bigger gigs right, too. So that's what I'm yeah. saying. So it's it works out right, and the word gets out. You guys pack the rooms, right? Yeah. And there you go. Because they tell two friends, you tell two friends, and boom. Yeah, um, well, actually, w- we've been fortunate. We've been fortunate to um, you know be lucky enough to work with uh, some of the veterans out in the in the scene, like oh, right the Church on. of the Eighth Day. Um, you know, our recent show was a great success, and uh, you know, I just wanted to say that. Yeah, I get some props out for Daniel Dismal, 
Yeah, and it gets yeah go ahead, man. <laughs> throw, throw them out yeah. there. It's yeah, your man, show. I mean, Get it. Well, a lot, of, a lot of people were saying that it was like a cover band and stuff like that, but I, I, it's like the first time I ever seen Incantation live, and I thought it was spot on, you know? I mean, everything from my point of view was really, really tight. You know? Yeah, I, I shared the same opinion. Cause yeah. Coming if, from if, the sound guys, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did my best. All right, so cool, man. I mean, you guys got any shout-outs to give anybody, you know, any props you want to throw out and stuff like that? I mean, come on. Give it up. All right. So I want to start with uh, some friends of mine. Uh, of course, to Daniel and Eric from Church of the Eight, from Church to the A Day, uh, to Alvin from the Elegy Ensemble, Jesse from the Arrogant Behavior. Yeah, man, you're saying everybody. And, <laughs> and, 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 and well, chime organ. in there, Jimmy. Yeah, an organ from the Study X, because I'm very lucky to work with those guys. And now. Uh, they give me a chance to cover their gigs and all that. So Sweet. Right on, right on. So and you're uh, building up and quite a portfolio. And, and the two more important now to Rachel from the OC Weekly and April Edwards. Right on. Right so, Jim, on. why did you originally start uh, Metal Victors? Uh, well, uh, honestly, uh, it In was... In 2011. Initially, when I, when I was offered the, 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 I guess, the opportunity to do that, I... I saw an immediate uh, interest for my my own band, for Doomsayers. Uh, kind of took yeah. it as a residency, uh, and uh, you know, and it turned. I, I kind of took it like a residency, and and then basically, it it took on its own a life of its own. It became its own animal. So, um, you know, with that, I, you know, it, it kind of became a conflict of interest at some point with uh, Doomsayers and uh, mm. Mel Invictus, and. Hmm. But uh, ultimately, well, I mean, we, we we had a lot of ups and downs, though. I mean, yeah, we we did the whole, we did everything. We we did the pre-sale. I mean, we sold a lot of tickets at you know different spots in in Hollywood, and of course, I mean, we tried it all, and um, we just we just didn't feel like we were being treated fairly. So we're like, why don't we just do this on our own? Why don't we just take on, you know, grab the grail and. Make our and own carry system. it on our own down yeah. themselves. Yeah, because you, know? <laughs> yeah, you already saw what was happening out there, so you figured, you know, why not? We can make it better, and we can yeah. you know, we can pull this off. Yeah, and basically, it, you did. Um, so Yeah, I mean... And it's working so far. So, Keep going, by the way, for yeah, us so, uh, bands. Thank you guys, got, I mean, you, I, obviously, you have stuff coming up, right? And uh, the work, they can yeah. reach you at MetalInvictus.com. Yep. Right, and uh, you know, so you can look up and hook up everything. You got calendars up and all that stuff. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we got that working out. We're working on that. We were trying to release a, a actually a, it's a project we were working on for a bit, but um, the the photo journal of uh, from 2011 to uh, to date. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. All right. Of, um, you yeah. know, featuring a lot of the you know photography that we've you know taken over that, and mostly Adrian's a lot of Adrian's work. <laughs> so Jim. Oh, I, okay. I was going to ask him about his album. Okay. Oh. Can I? I was going to ask him about how they met. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Go, go, go. No, go. <laughs> oh. Before we get into the music, I yeah, want to know go. how they everybody met. <laughs> wow. Because that... I think you came, you had your own project before, before this happened. So yeah. how did you get uh, involved? Well, I actually went to the first Metal Invictus uh, Maidens of Metal uh, Arnold Festival. To what, what year? To, uh, 2000. The first one? Yeah, 2010, oh. 19. No, it's 2011. 2011? No, it had to be 2012. 2012. Uh, 2011. <laughs> and, uh, no, yeah, sorry, like, uh, I can't remember. It's so the Dia one. Yeah, exactly. yeah it's only. Um, the, yeah, yeah, so we, we yeah, featured Dia. Exactly. Dia. That, that's, that's my thing. It's like, I'm too old. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, was, that, was, that was the Dia, uh, the Dia concert. And, okay. Um, I, I, you know, I, I came to cover all the bands and all that, and fortunately for me, next day, Angie sent me a message, and she told me, like, hey, man, you should come over to cover all all, all our gigs, you well, know? Well, we had already noticed you. It, it I, I mean, at that point, we were aware of who I you I told were. you, ladies, they already <laughs> noticed him. <laughs> I mean, check it out. Check it out. It's he Angie. always goes there every show. With <laughs> Every All right, show. Jimmy. So what's up? Come on. Uh, well, 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 I mean, it was. Uh, beans. You know, uh, we we had our, our, our at the time we had. What was the question? 
in 2012. No, okay. well, well, <laughs> well, basically, we we noticed Adrian on on the you know, online. He uh, he was very active in the the Facebook, um, you know, metal post and metal in community the in the scene. Yeah, nice. And yeah, uh, he would show up every gig. And you this know. guy is like, right let me tell you something, man. I, if I, I could do about 10 percent of what this guy d does, I you know, it'd be over. Oh, dude, it would be over. My yeah. <laughs> Like, I agree with that. If I, I mean, knew like five percent. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there that want to take credit for doing, you know. I don't know what kind of percentage they have in their head, but it's not you, much. You just can't see me <laughs> raising my hand. Yeah, and they're right like, now. and they want more out of it, you know, like. Well, yeah, I do. I, I'm raising my hand right now. I'm the one percenter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I, I'm not going there. I'm just saying, you know, there's. You what know. Adrian does, Adrian, yeah. let me tell who who. If you don't know who Adrian um, he is, which I don't know why you wouldn't know who he Look is. Look him up. Seen. But he goes literally to every gig, L.A. and like, Orange County. If it's the band like, he likes, he's going to oh, be there somehow. No, well, actually, uh, and he, you know and every he stays, gig, but if he, can he make it, if he can make the distance, because yeah. the commute. And, and he get, it gets there from when the first band starts yeah. to the last band. Yeah. So they, they, like, like, yeah sometimes that's how you get exposed. Two or three o'clock in the morning, but this is... Like he he'll go like every day almost. Well, and not only that, like not only that he'll he'll go home at two or three in the morning and start uploading whatever he took oh, until yeah. he's done, which is you know sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. wow, dude, you don't sleep. <laughs> it much, doesn't do stop. You? <laughs> yeah, I tell him take a break. No man. wonder you're not dating. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> too busy. I told you, Benny always goes there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a good answer. Yeah. Hey, because, he's got. Uh, he's, hey, wait a minute, yeah, man. The, look, you see, he's got more fans than... He's yeah. Got girl, oh, man, never mind. I don't even talk. That's awesome. <laughs> <He's got girl. laughs> That's awesome. That's why he's sitting so over guys, here. So you guys yeah. actually met in 2012, and then you kind of yeah, you know, grew from there to get your to get where you're at and going now. Oops. Best room. Yeah. Awesome. Jim and Caesar have known each other for, like, decades. Yeah. What, you guys go to school together or something? No, practically. Well, practically. almost. I almost. think that's what Caesar would see. Yeah. Same yeah. neighborhood. Uh, yeah, same school. neighborhood, yeah, but... Yeah. Um, well, he's actually from. He was. Uh, he was from the other side of the neighborhood. I'm like, oh, he's <laughs> yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah he's a, the, the, he, he was my rival. One. He was yeah, like, I, I you know, like, like, like the that Shabberville. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a few friends like that too, man, because they yeah. went to different schools, but we were still hung out. Yeah, man, you're I, from I the wrong this, side of the tracks. I yeah. found this guy uh, at, at at some gig. Yeah, I used to throw. I used to throw gigs back. He was throwing, you know, back in high school days, and yeah, and. I used to just have a bunch of bands show up, and we used to have throw shows till like four in the morning. Yeah, Angie was involved was, in this. Like, I yeah, later that. on, like <laughs> after. Wow. I started the the whole gig promoting thing. I I, I think from. Okay, like, and then you guys obviously met that area. Angie through Caesar. I'm assuming. Yeah. Is that how it worked? Yeah. So yeah. Met, okay. Well, yeah. Actually, I met Angie, and then I, I met yeah. Caesar. Yeah. She introduced me to Jim. Okay. Okay. Oh. And then it just kept rolling downhill from there. So yeah, okay. he's. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I so I got it. I got it. So yeah. yeah. Fun right fact on. is, uh, Jim actually introduced me to Caesar. Really? Yeah. yeah so I gotta wow. give. I gotta give credit. Keep where so you, you, so you, is, you gave your drum. Jim is the man. Everybody is the man in the station. Yeah, Jim. Pimping his drummer out here. Yeah. Take this guy. Check this guy out. Check this guy out. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> I can't take. Yeah. We can't take him enough. I want my ten. Yeah, I want my ten percent. That's totally cool. <laughs> <laughs> there you see. Ten percent. There you go. Ten percent. Yeah, ten percent. I get the two percent. Of nothing, dude. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, ten percent of nothing is still ten percent. As soon as I get paid, <laughs> I send you the so, check in the mail. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> Adrian, uh, not many people know this too. Is you actually take photos for bands uh, when, in like on their albums and stuff. So who you do album you covers. Yeah, no, yes. no, not covers. Oh, well, the oh, band photos yeah. and well, stuff. The so, band photo shoot. So oh, okay. Why don't you yeah. name drop some bands of like what you've done, uh, yeah. and, and the records or the band names or whatever it is that that you've done. Uh, well, of course, I got the pleasure to do your your band, Madras. Our band. And that was, no. yeah, yeah, and that was a huge honor, you know. Uh, he did. He, he took pictures. He uh, helped us out and yeah. took pictures for uh, into the aquatic sector. Yeah, yeah the, the so. the and then, but he's also done other stuff. So what? What other bands have you kind of done? Uh? <laughs> They're all pointing at CD cover. I love it. <laughs> yeah, we're on <laughs> Skype. Uh, well, uh, so come on, kick it down, man. I I got Tormentor, the new the newest album too. Uh, pro prophetic Deceiver. Yeah. Okay. Prophetic Deceiver. Uh, that's the one that I really. Really like it because um, that was an ex an amazing experience, you know. The whole thing, like they in Pomona, I think, or La Puente around there, and 
just There's driving all the way and all that. There. So that was an amazing one. Uh, I got this amazing black metal band called Aragnigat. Um, oh, yeah. Arachnaga. That is where we have heard of them. We have, we've had them in here. And, we uh, did. That's where I heard of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same yeah. with Tormentor and the yeah. Observatory and all the others. Snakes Canyon and no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and, uh, well, yeah, I got a couple more, but unfortunately I can't remember because, like I say, I'm very old. Did you do yeah. Exterminates? I did Exterminate, okay. but uh, that's that's a collage of all my live pictures of them. So, But they use it. So yeah, but they you use did it. it yeah. So. So, so you get credit. You get credit. Yeah, you watermark that yeah. stuff, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but we, no, but we did. We, we give him credit in the booklet, of, of, yeah. of course. Uh, yeah, uh, and, and yeah, and I want to say thank you for the opportunity. Like I say, uh, for me, he's like, you know, not even one of the best guitarists on the scene. His scream, you know, his passion. His, so all all the pros goes to Tanner for giving me the opportunity to work with you. No, th no thanks needed, man. Just keep doing your thing, dude. That's all we ask. <laughs> right That's on. all everybody asks, right? Keep doing your thing. Oh, there's so, a lot of love in this yeah, room. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to kind of crush it now because so. um, oh. I, I saw this band play the show on Saturday. It was just, it just right. killed it for me. So I'm going to play some, some cranial engorgement because, dude, you missed you missed it, man. You I, missed it. So I I'm going to play some cranial I engorgement. I'm sorry. Don't I have a station man. to run. Dot I com. <laughs> I can say... Uh, I got this amazing friend in, in the UK. She's an uh, an amazing photographer and artist. And my other friend on Germany, who is an amazing artist too. Have you been to Europe? No, I never been there. Oh, no, but you have friends over there. Yeah, I got friends. Nice. And uh, the all uh, you know, these guys. Uh, it, it's it's really weird how it works because when I shooting uh, a gig, I see vicious of them you know vicious. okay so that's basically you know the inspiration oh right on right on and, uh, so how many camera bodies do you have i got i mainly my my main camera for videos and drum cams and guitar views it's a gopro camera okay gopro yeah, yeah i yeah. see you have a cannon sitting here so uh, yeah and i do nikon myself but yeah i love nikon <laughs> yeah and, and, uh, and that's funny because this camera right here that i have right here uh the whole scene brought it for me okay so didn't isn't that the the camera that that leslie yeah that's the camera leslie that gave me um Wow. They made into metal. Wow. Too. Yeah, made into nice. metal. They had a like a fundraiser because some. I think some. Yeah. What was the story? Somebody, you lost your camera or something? Yeah, I lost my Nikon camera actually. Oh um, no! Got smashed. Yeah. It got oh, smashed. Yeah, one of our shows yeah. actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and so yeah, we all wanted like so it everybody. Was not, everybody it, it pitched. It was Leslie's in, idea. Yeah. To we kind of was Leslie of Insentient. We're gonna no. play yeah, soon. I'm gonna play her soon. Yeah. It was actually a funny story about that because. We uh, the camera got smashed at one of our uh, at our uh, Lito Amounts show down in and downtown. The one, the only. Yeah, the one, the, the one, one, the only. <laughs> and, uh, the one, the only. Yeah. The one, the only. And uh, you know, we kind of felt responsible, so we had talked to uh, Leslie about doing a, a, a benefit show for that. But um, but we ne I guess we never settled on a date, and they kind of set an event like uh, on their own. Uh, just yeah, they th did. They like just set it up, and we actually set up another event before the that event. Um, oh right kinda, on! Yeah. But yeah. it was so like, like but all the money uh, that we made in that event went towards the fund that Leslie set up on yeah. the GoFund. Oh right on! And we used that to help him. Right yeah. on! Right on! Yeah, so that's that's oh, the main cool. camera that I use. He, he does so much for the scene, so we figured yeah. you know it'd be the best. They'll, you know, the give back, give all. something back, right? Yeah, because yeah. 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 it gives it us forward, a lot. Man, paying it forward. That's right. So Jimmy, you play guitar. What? Who were your guitar influences uh, going, growing up, and whatnot? And what made you pick up the guitar? Wow. Well, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, yeah, I, I went to. Uh, I, I was lucky and privileged enough, I guess, to go to uh, you know, private schools. So okay. Unfortunately, they're trying to cram religion down my throat, and uh, I, I ran to Slayer immediately, like Slayer, Jeff Hanneman. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Hanneman. Uh, yeah, I would say that's probably like uh, him and. Uh, Pantera, uh, you know Randy Rhodes. Okay, you know, all right. Uh, you know I, the Gomet. You know. Yeah, <laughs> I, can, I can tell you, I, I was an altar boy once. So. Ah, no, not like yeah. that. Not like that. 
Nothing like that. <laughs> That's why you ran to Slayer. Oh, Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it was just the most extreme thing I can think yeah. that was like the polar okay, right, opposite of that. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> All right, so that, that's where you get. So what age were you when you picked up your guitar? Uh, 14. About 14? Not Self-taught, or did you have to take lessons? You I, go somewhere? I, I had uh, I had several various influences of, of different musicians okay. that were already established, kind of, that I kind of was under the wing under for a while. All right. Of... Uh, uh, one of them was uh, Mario from uh, um, Wow Homeboy I don't even remember His last name But I think it was Gutierrez <laughs> Gutierrez right Yeah Gutierrez Yeah From um, Engrave Engrave Yeah Oh wow Alright Yeah he All actually right. He was like the first one Who was gonna give us a, Like our Our break Shana. I guess Yeah We yeah. were supposed to play um, Milwaukee Metal Fest Milwaukee Metal Fest With him But wow, Unfortunately he Passed away Yeah and so just give a oh, that, yeah, okay, yeah. well, there you go, there you go. So, yeah, he's he's one of the... He's one of my influences. We, we used to play in uh, Esteban, my friend Esteban Medina's garage. Uh, okay. He had, like, a body shop, and, you know, we... Oh, right on, right on, yeah, right on. Pretty, uh, yeah, he came in, and he's like, yeah, you guys are pretty good. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, <laughs> was, there, was, there, there was, yeah, there was. There was. What about you, Caesar? What about you, Caesar? Who's your influences, man? What do you, uh, you know... Not for any, not guitar players, but drummers. drummers. Yeah, drummers. Growing yeah. up, well, of course, I have to give a you know, I give, I give props to Bill Ward. I mean, he was the he's the man. He dude. was the man, you know. And then um, <laughs> later on, I mean, my main influence was thrash, thrash metal. So that's what really got me into metal, you know, Metallica, Chuck Biscuit, you know. I don't I don't know about Chuck Biscuit, but I'm just saying like drummers, Lardo. drummers like you know Nick Menza, of course Lars. I mean he's a big influence in pretty much everybody, and whether you hate him or love him. That tennis player, <laughs> you know. But yeah, I mean there's a lot of guys out there now that are like revolutionary, re- revolutionizing the drumming, you know. But and you have your own style, of course, right? That you, yeah, yeah. So you just take bit, bits and pieces. Yeah, I do. I do my best. Yeah. Whatever I so, think I should be playing. What, what skins are you slamming? What skins? Uh, I prefer Remo. Okay. All uh, right. You like how they? You like the way they stretch? Yeah. Uh, well, I it's just a just package. You know, it's the cheapest thing and they last longest. So. Okay, cheapest thing that lasts longest. I got that. All right. So as far as your symbols go, you have a, a vast variety, or you want uh, use one uh, brand? Yeah, well, I use two two major brands. Okay. Uh, I use um I use Zildjian. I was fortunate enough to win a swe- sweepstakes, and I went to Boston, and I got to, you know, hang out with Matt Sorm and go to the Remo factory. I mean, the Zildjian factory, and <laughs> yeah, it was it was a good experience for me. Well, it was good and bad. Oh, right on, right so. on, right on. Cool. Well, cool, man. Let's, it, let's do some tunes, man. Let's do some tunes. I think we're right. tired of talking right now, so let's do some we, tunes. All right. Well, thanks, all right. guys. You know what? <laughs> well, you know what? We'll be back. We're, yeah. we're going to talk right. to these guys a little bit more. Of course. We're, and, not, we're um, not going you know, away Medlin anymore. Medlin in the house. we got Madrost in the house. So we've we're, got Adrian ooh, yeah, we got in the house. we got Benny the, the Breeze. Photography <laughs> in there. You know there what? You but, but before this, before I play this tune, why don't you go ahead and send my buddy hate mail at RadioBenOfTheBreeze at gmail.com. All right, he'll answer any of your hate mail, whether you hate him or love him. Send him, send him some, uh, some love. So there you go. Always. All right, <laughs> we're gonna play. A, we actually, when me and Caesar did our uh, the last tour that we did yeah. last year, we played with this band out in uh, Salt Lake City. That if you remember, we didn't have a gig in Salt Lake City planned. Oh. Yes. So we literally just went to the venue, and oh, our nice. luckily our buddies in in Rattlehead were playing and gave you instruments. No, 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 we had all our, yeah, no, 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 we, we had, had all our instruments, oh, okay. yeah. but we didn't have a show, we were, we were passing great. through the town, we didn't have oh, a show. Oh, 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 all right, oh, cool, band, so, right so yeah, on, so right we on. played yeah, with we this band it. called, called Death Blow, okay, cool, I'm gonna, I got right. their CD recently, right. so I'm gonna play some, some Utah style, uh, speed metal. All right, it's your Ooh. Monday Mayhem Show, Tanner Pop at Benny the Breeze, KTST FM, Anaheim Zone Net Radio. All right. Welcome, welcome back, everyone. That was a little our own accord, only on KTSTFM Anaheim dot com with Faith and Demons. Uh, before that, we heard uh, Insentient with Winter's End. Before that, we heard uh, a little Death Blow with Defcon One. Yeah, sorry about that. We had a little hic- uh, few few minor hiccups, but uh, we're okay. So sorry about that. 
Yeah, the I frost. apologize about that. I yeah, should say. yeah, don't. <laughs> yeah, we're never sorry. So. Sorry is a sign of weakness. Yeah, that's right. So I will apologize anyway, for my actions yes. and everything that I've ever done in my life. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like anyway, that. so you are listening to your Monday Night Mayhem, the last ever Monday Night Mayhem until it you know, is. You, you know, we're going to Wednesday. Yeah, we're bro. going to Wednesday. So right. we'll, Wednesday. we'll see. We'll. You know, yeah, we, we got to yeah. figure out a title, but the Wednesday Night Mayhem's yeah, going to stick yeah. for a minute, yeah, so gonna, we'll be all right. We'll be okay. Yeah, so yeah, we got the guys in in Metal Invictus here. Metal Thanks Invictus. again for coming Ooh. on, guys. And Madras. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. thank yeah. you guys yeah. for doing what you do, man. So, right so on. okay. So, um, how how can give me all your links again? Well, yeah. Once again, links. let's have them. Um, go, Jimmy. www.metalinvictus.com. We're also on Facebook. Uh, you need to talk into that thing, dude. It's okay, man. You're a singer, right? You should be used to a microphone. Like it's like. Uh, oh, you know, oh, he's a vocalist too. Uh, I uh, it. We are at uh, www.metalinvictus.com. Dabbles. We're also facebookcom slash All right. <laughs> uh, you got to put the slash in there. Uh, you can also find me, Jimmy Armenta, on Facebook, or you know. Yeah. Also have. Uh, All right. We're also on Hotmail. You know, Metal Invictus. At Hotmail. So okay, so where can people go to to Where's your book merch? Gig? Yeah, we can actually. Have merch? Uh, yes, we are working on that. Actually, it'll be on our on our dot com. On our okay. Okay. Dot com. You, All right. I mean, you can contact us right through the through the dot com page. It has a you know, okay. direct contact. Oh, know. right on, right on. All right. And then with uh, with with uh, Adrian, mm-hmm. I have his card right here, so I'm just going to oh. read. Adrian. It. Uh, yeah, you can find him through uh, Metal War Zone. So make yes. sure you put the the uh, the uh, hyphen. Hyphen, yeah, in between metal and Warzone. <laughs> oh wow! I, you know what? You just threw me off right there. Yeah, oh, at, at, yeah. and it's Facebook. Obviously. You can find him on Facebook. Yeah, yeah basically. hit him up for any pictures. If you need, if you guys oh. want pictures, I mean, he's your man. I've I don't, seen I don't, the photos. I don't, Go check it out. Thank they, you. Uh, actually, you know what? If I mean, you want actually, a good photo, he's a great photographer. Let's whoa, just not sugarcoat it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, even Van Gogh had some competition. Hey, the, look, di- let me tell you, <laughs> if Adrian's difficult and, and and doesn't want to be paid, just just insist and just give him a donation of some kind because he's got you know. I, it, yeah, he I works. Tr- hey, works everybody's got to you know everybody. Yeah, yeah. You can't no, just I'm just not putting it work, out there man. for all the people who want yeah. to work with him. That like, so, you know, Adrian, you well, barter, huh? You, you know, you barter. If they have a Cadillac on, you know, on blocks, right. you know, you'll take a few <laughs> photos and take the Cadillac out of there. <laughs> 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 a couple of chickens, maybe a goat in the backyard, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. what so I. It's barter, baby. It. Feel free to yeah. tip the sound man is. occasionally <laughs> as well. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? I said, who do you think he is, Cheech? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> Tony was throwing him up for barter. Tony. Who's Tony? Jimmy. 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 Tony. I don't know who Tony is. Tony. Oh, I'm sorry. Tony. Tony. Say Tony again. Yeah, Tony, Tony. Is, is, oh, is Danny's I finger in the shining. Okay, like, I, I'm he's so, a six so man. I he's apologize a, for that. I knew I was going to do that. Jimmy. Jimmy. He's an active in the room. It, it's Jimmy. It's Tony. Jimmy. All right. Yeah. So, Jimmy. It, so, Jimmy. so to me, uh, yeah. you can find me, you know, in Mel Invictus. All right. And Metal Wars on, of course. All the link. links are, all his links are available on all our site, so you yeah. can go they're right all to the him. Web, you know, they're all, yeah. yeah. So you cool. click on them, it'll go to him. Awesome, awesome. Right on. Yeah. So, uh, it, in when you write Jimmy, when you write your, I got that right, Jimmy. When you write songs <laughs> and stuff, is there a collaboration, or do you come up with lyrics and the guitar lead, or do you just come up with some kind of beat and well, what's happening for well, your music? Like lately, I. I usually write the lyrics out first. Okay. And then I, I, I usually, when I write them out, I have a, a riff structure idea or a riff idea already, like in mind okay. with it. Uh, but I, I think that's kind of, uh, try to focus on the lyrics first and then kind of. You do, do you read I poetry a, or anything like that? Or yeah, you just I, I tell I stories or how's it go? I, I have like a, I think I have a minor in creative writing and creative writing. Uh, I've, I know, God, I have probably like over 200 units and. <laughs> In, uh, college credits already, you know. So no way. Oh yeah, you went to college. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were smarter than you're smart. Than you. <laughs> so wow. I have a question. All right, go. Um, what what venues do you book out of? Well, we. Uh, I don't know why we didn't talk about this sooner. Well, what the, air, the airliner venues? bar, the airliner bar is uh, our home base. Uh, it's been our home base since. Uh, we in Los Angeles. Yeah, in Los okay. Angeles on Broadway. It's uh, right in Lincoln Heights, off the five freeway. Uh, can't miss it, and. Uh, it's been there for a hundred years. This place is a historical yep. landmark. Landmark, yeah. Uh, we actually, before that, we were working with a, a kind of 
through well Angie Angie she got involved with the Bex Arts which yeah. was in uh, close to Alhambra I don't even know if you want to mention that but yeah, <laughs> you were working there <laughs> <laughs> alright <laughs> alright yeah. but it used to be, well it's not there anymore yeah it's gone it's if, gone if we All were right. if we had been more in charge that place would still be there you know yeah it'd be running bad bad, bad yeah, yeah. Bad a well business, oiled yeah. machine so. <laughs> but, but that's why the airliner's still there that's why you know yep. like, yeah, you yeah. do your thing. So, how did you get involved with well, uh, the, the airliner? I, I, I had a little stint back with them doing sound. Okay. Uh, I was uh, working the you know the sound club doing sound for the you know different events and different promoters. So, uh, kind of, my friend Greg Greg Instrumental, he was a chef there at the time. He was the one that kind of gave me the idea to try to you know do the promoting eventually. But it was with, through him that I also got the sound gig. So, all right, okay, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and well, he saw something in you. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> well, he he's the well, he used to attend our gigs back in the days. So yeah, he knew yeah. We, were, we were pretty good at throwing gigs, so he threw us the bone and right, 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 snagged it, snagged mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Yeah, he was a friend way back. Yeah, yeah, tearing <laughs> in half. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Way cool, way cool. Cool man. So, do you, are you guys? So, you, do you only book L.A.? Is that all? Have you ever booked like an Orange County or like a San Bernardino or? Do you know what I mean? Like a Riverside, or do you ever venture in those well, territories, or is it just uh, trying, Los well, Angeles? Well, yeah, we're trying. We're to trying to get out here. I mean, whoever yeah, will we have are, us. We're open to uh, you know any kind of future workings for yeah. that. Yeah, we would be very open to that. Yeah, I want. Uh, I want to. I want to throw some gigs out here. Yeah, here. Yeah, I mean, well, the on the road. You know? Yeah, the, <laughs> the scene's pretty big. Yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, for underground metal or metal that's not avenued out, mm-hmm. and. Uh, Working with other people, you know, and Tanner, and we have the show. You know, we like to throw it out there and have you got have you guys in here, man, and mm-hmm. you know, talk to you about it, and you know, spread the word. I mean, you know, pay back, pay forward. Well, not we really pay back. It's always it's just spread it forward, man. You know, paying it forward. <laughs> so, well, uh, we do. Uh, like I want to mention, uh, we we're just try- we're still booking for our upcoming uh, our fourth annual Ma- Maidens of Metal event. All right. Which is, uh, like I said, it's a show that features, uh, you know, strong female, you know, members in the in their band, respective bands. Right. Uh, and you know, kind of representing in the scene, you know, and we, we really wanted to kind of bring that up because you know the ratio thing that was yeah. actually you know one the big reason, but that then it became its own like like I said it became its own animal as well like that and that's our biggest more successful show you know. Right. Right on. Right on. So yeah, if you do them annually or every year, right? Yes. That's when you yeah. Yeah, it's that's uh, awesome. But we so, really try to like, you know, uh, kind of research and look into what bands we want to get. So uh, there's so many great bands that we've already worked with before, and right, right. I mean, we'd love to have them, but you know, there's well, also you, a lot of other opportunity for other bands that that haven't been uh, right exposed yet. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah but exactly. there's, there's two sides of the street on that mm-hmm. also. Of course, course. I mean, you know, because you could have a couple up and comers and then some really screamers, you know, yeah. book a six band night or whatever. Mm-hmm. And if you got to expand it to two nights, that you know, I think we if you got the venue idea, to actually. do it, you know, I think that show idea. has like twelve bands. Twelve bands, twelve bands, thirty minute pieces or what? Yeah, yep. starts at four o'clock in the four o'clock p.m. No, yeah. seven, <laughs> six, six, six thirty ish. Yeah. yeah, we started at. Six <laughs> but they also have two levels, so yeah, they we can have do two like oh, okay. twelve band right. nights yeah, in one the, night if you want. That's gonna so. tire me out. You know the, the yeah going up and down kind of is. To work well, that's why they have two people working. Yeah, up and down. but you know, still you got to go up and down those stairs. Yeah. And, you know, like oh, yeah. hauling gear up that that place is not <laughs> an easy task, dude. Yeah, I know, Robert. Yeah, Matt, right, right. So wow. I mean, that's why we always like to play the downstairs because you don't have to haul any gear upstairs. Wow, they don't even have a little elevator in the back. Freight elevator. No, it's all it's there. all stairs. I think. Oh, geez. Yeah, it's all stairs. Wow. I think our, our second, Oops. our second. Uh, we have they have a backstage <laughs> area. I guess it's like a back area a patio, but they they don't really. Um, do night shows there because it gets loud, I guess, in the oh, open air. Oh, we, we, yeah. we did have an open air. Yeah, uh, event. that's that's mm. right. All right, right yeah. on, right the on. The FBF show. Yes. Yeah, so, right. it, so, uh, so you guys have your own lighting, PA, and all that other stuff, right? Um, I mean, you guys, you know, that's the, the, yeah, the, that's yeah. Well, we use our own mics, but right, the, the house provides like the mixer and PA. Well, okay, so yeah, you just plug direct in and yeah. to the floor, and you guys go. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Right on, right That's on, awesome. right on. Yeah, but so you, so what? Kind of, you know, it's a nice thing about having a nightclub is that you know you, the, you know, it's there's two different stages to that place. Obviously, right. The the top stage is a you know professional nightclub. You know, 
you know, what if I think it's like four or eight subs or something, and like two sets of towers. It doesn't have floor monitors, so that's the only thing that we're missing there. But uh, lights, the work, you yeah, know, yeah. pitting area. Then the bottom stage is more of your typical bar, like little corner slanted stage. Right, you know, right. Very yeah. awkward. Yeah, it's very, very awkward. awkward. Yeah. But you know, that I, I like that bottom stage See, yeah, more. It's more personal. You know, you know, it looks like a pizza. I like it because it's more punk. No, <laughs> I, no, I like it because more, I like it because know? the bands have to really like know how to control their sound. And yeah. actually, like, bring it down yeah, to, Yeah, they like, can't rely on the sound, man. Yes. And, see, and, and that's when we graduate uh, them, you, you see? You guys actually hit on something that I totally, totally love. What? Is that you tone to the room. If they don't tone down to the room, it's too loud. It sounds like just, yeah, it yeah. sounds like poop. <laughs> and, uh, you know, <laughs> it kind of forces the that. bands to, like, right. you know, have to have a really good sound. and, and, and Yeah. You know, I mean, because it's easy to sound good on the top stage. I mean, anyone could sound. It good. is. It's not easy for me. Ah. <laughs> well, you gotta. Yeah. Well, we got someone mixing. Well, you're, you're yeah. Always, yeah. yeah, you always have to have somebody that good, knows dude. the sound in the room when there's people in he there. He knows the sound. He's been doing you know. sound there for so. a couple of years. Well, yeah. there you go. Yeah. I got him started yeah. on sound. Oh. Yeah. We want to give. We want to give a See, shout out. I, to, I uh, invented the tip jar. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's right. <laughs> yeah, nice. I want to give a shout out to Toby who's listening right now. Toby. Yep. All right. Thanks, What's up, man. Toby? What's up, Toby? All, All right, right. It's KTST thank, FM and I'm Zone Net Radio. We're give smack dab in the middle of it. It's your Monday mayhem. Tanner Pop and Benny the Breeze, the guys from Metal Invictus and Madras. <laughs> so uh, and, Ma- and Metal War Zone. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we yeah. 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 And gotta throw do you, that do you have out any there. Plugs? And, and oh, I want to give out a shout out one more. One okay, more. yeah, go ahead. Uh, to uh, um, our friends Jimmy over go. and uh, Josh from uh, uh, Nuclear Blast. You know they're all right. So yeah, put it um, and to Angie, <laughs> Angie Gabriel. And, yeah, Angie Gabriel, because she's from home, but <laughs> <laughs> blowing it. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. oh, geez. This is why we can't have nice things. Yeah, yeah. we yeah, exactly. Well, actually, I have a really nice sweater that I just picked up from yeah. Nuclear Salt. Thanks oh. for silver. Oh, yeah, yeah dude. I love Nuclear Salt, yeah, dude. She, she nuclear hooked salt. it up. Nuclear Blast. Thanks, I love Nuclear Salt, dude. It's awesome. Love yeah. that band, dude. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> hey, and so let me say, say this. If you guys have musicians in the house or somebody wants to go around and bang a tambourine or whatever, go out to me. Hit up my guy, Mike Maddox at Sam Ash on Artesia Boulevard in Cerritos. Go over there. Sam Ash they have things going on all nights of the week. Tonight is Drummers Unite. It's in Cerritos on Artesia Boulevard. Sam Ash, or go to samash.com. But uh, they have things happening. I mean, hit up my guy Mike Maddox. You know, bang a tambourine, hit some drums, play a guitar, grab some strings. Always some great gifts and some great deals out there. Sam Ash, go to samash.com. All right. And that was that was a good. That was a did good you point. know that the. Uh, the Monster Jam. Is it still <laughs> happening? Trucks. Oh, over here, the Twenty Second Angel Stadium, outdoors. You Tickets are still five dollars. That's right. Get them. This is actually uh, their 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 band. So let's uh. Sweet. Let's do it. What is it? Track? You want track seven? I'll give yeah, you. Yeah, I think there's like a raw recording we did somewhere. Let me just get yeah, the man. wrong name, Jimmy. Yeah, that's right. Jimmy. 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 Tony. Timmy. Timmy. It's going to be Timmy. Yeah. That's, uh, Sooner or later it will be. <laughs> so you want track seven? Yeah, please. We'll give you track All right. seven. Only on KDSC if I'm Anaheim. Blood Drinker's Ball. What's the song called, man? Blood Drinker's Ball. Right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That was a little madras with Universal Energy. Only on KTSC if I'm Anaheim.com. How did you scream that loud? I don't know. Anyways, before that, we heard a little Doomsayers <laughs> with, uh, w- sorry, what was the song called? I got to look at the CD blood, again. You no, got blood, blood Drinkers, drinkers Ball. Blood, blood Drinkers Ball, okay. I said Blood something. 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 Yeah, <laughs> we got to get it right, though. We got we to be professional in some way. Right on. That's all a bunch of vampires. Vampires, yeah, I guess yeah. So. Mm. so. So. Night Will. Yeah, we got the guys in uh, Metal Warzone and Metal Invictus. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Combined. Combined, yeah. yes. Yep. And We're all here. Yep. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and Doomsayers. Yep. yep. And Doomsayers. And Doomsayers. And Benny. Not Dumbsayers. It's <laughs> Doomsayers. Not Doom. Doomsayers. <laughs> Doom. Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, Doomsayers. Haters. Damn Haters in the studio yeah. tonight. Haters. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots Woo! fired on KTSAVMAnaheim.com. <laughs> Money Night Man. Right. So cool, man. So yeah. Thanks again, guys, for coming uh, into the it. studio. We're almost we have we have like fifteen minutes left, so we're we not, do. Oh. We're not almost out of time. We're 14. almost out of time. Right. I just want to say thank you, Benny, and thank you, Tanner. 
You're Anytime. welcome. You guys yeah, come thanks. back on again, yeah. though, when you have like some more shows so we can you promote can them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Give yeah, us one of those calendars, you know. Hey, calendars, shoot got, us a link because I'm going to look it up and throw it on the, you know, we'll toss it on the site. Vile Descent, February 20th. That's what it's called. Vile Descent is what Vile it is. Descent. Vile Descent. Vile Descent. Vile. At the airline. The airline of our, that's right. February wow, 20th. I have one of these shirts. Well, I will be there. You do? Yeah, I do. Ooh. Yeah. Well, then, <laughs> then, then guess what? Benny has to be there if he has one of his, their shirts. Then. I we do have, have to. We have to. We have to make him come out. I actually yeah, went to a show, them. saw him, and got a, I got I got some swag. Yeah, they're, they're great, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I'm looking uh, for a Metal Invictus shirt well, myself. Well, oh, got yeah. a, so am I, dude. Yeah. I've been I've been looking for a couple of years now. So I can't <laughs> <laughs> good luck with that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We gotta, hey, we gotta hey, give hey, a I shout out to you, Angie Gabriel. Angie Gabriel, because she yeah she's yeah she's, she's great. Right. She's the mastermind of our what? Hey, we have uh guys. We have uh one more. I wanted to put a all right. Yeah, do you think, dude? March 20th, we have a, 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 we're hosting Spell from Canada and the Order of Solar. Uh, cool. We also have a, You got to talk into that thing, dude. So March yeah, 28th, you're, you're close, Legion man. of Death and uh, Sacla Freya at the Airliner. These are all shows at the Airliner. April 17th, uh, so we you have book once April's. A month there. Yeah. Okay. Well, we no, actually, sometimes we do two. Okay. It depends on okay. if there's a tour in yeah, or not. But Airliner has a website too, right? Airliner yes, the Airliner does okay. have a website. And they have a calendar. Yeah, pretty right. much. But uh, for most of the metal shows, they're just going to tell you to call us anyway. So. Okay. So oh. where can so right. so the up to date right. places to go is just your website and I Facebook. Got you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I want to I want to give a, a shout out to um, Glenn Evans from uh, the drummer from Nuclear Assault. I'm actually signed to his um to his um, record label, nice. Cinepus Records. Ooh. There you go. We got we got to give so. a shout out to to Murder Records out in Italy, who's going to put our record out in uh, in oh. Europe. In oh yeah, so nice. We Murder a Records, dude. So, yeah. Congress guys. Yeah, I can't wait to get out to Italy. <laughs> Me too, man. I want to have some yeah. pizza there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm looking forward to you. Pasta pizza. too. Sure, man. I Food. Just want, I just want to take a gondola ride. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. I want to go on one of those boats. You know. Right? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I think it's called a gondola. Oh, just like chill. Yeah. Well, gondola to me is like where you go in Mammoth, like that. Oh, like, oh okay, Willy yeah. Wonka looking thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Sit here and yeah. make sure that you lean forward <laughs> when you get off. Man, last time <laughs> I doesn't take you back down the mountain. <laughs> man, so, my uh, first time I went snowboarding, man. Uh, let me tell you, Mammoth. Uh, yeah? yeah. What yeah. happened? I, uh, you know, you're supposed to go down a little circle, a green circle. I went down some little diamond circle. Oh, black you diamond. black diamond? You hit <laughs> yeah, black diamond was your was first run. You're like, oh, my God. Oh, damn, man. Yeah. Grinding the whole way down. Like, <laughs> nice. You're Snow scared. You, 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 you had to take off your skate. You had to take <laughs> off your skis and just, no, I was just laying walk back. down the mountain. I was laying back, <laughs> grinding the board the whole way down. Like, never, like, never again. <laughs> well, now I'll do it again. Speed, too much yeah. speed. Too much speed. No, I mean, yeah. shit. I mean, I had someone oh, had to go oh, first. Oh, oh, I knew it. No. I, th- I was hoping, the I was the hoping we wouldn't have one. I know. Right, right towards the end right of the show. Right towards the end. Wow. wow. I, mi- I missed wow. it. Yeah. Yeah. Missed That's it by that right. much, yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Chief. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> sorry, Chief. Yeah, sorry. sorry about that. That's all right, though. We didn't damper the mood. Well, it's no. great to have you guys in here. I'm yeah. glad you guys came by, you know. and uh, Thanks for having us. Come back. Come back. Yeah. We'll hit you up. You hit us up, and uh, you know we'll, we'll hopefully I'll make it out to one of the shows. I know Tanner's going to be there, but you know me, uh, you know what busy I'm means. Always there. Means yeah. I don't have time for you guys. Oh. <laughs> Shots fired! Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah, yeah. we're going to have to set up a, a live stream or something then for you, man. Yeah, there you go. We'll mm. Skype it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Well, Skype yeah, it. we we have we have April pretty much open. If you guys want to come back, yeah. April fifteenth we have open. So All if right. you want to come back, cool. Then. Yeah, cool. And you can always you know carry mm-hmm. us around. On your mobile device, man. At the TuneIn yeah, app. Yeah, TuneIn tune Radio app. app. Yep, yep. TuneIn <laughs> Radio app and search us out. That's Put in KTSTFMAnaheim.com and, uh, you know, carry us around. You may, Who knows? You may not throw your phone. Yeah. <laughs> but also, too, I, I want to ask all the listeners, too. Or your too, tablet. To, to, you know, to, to spread the word about the station. Yeah. We're here for you guys, too, you know. Like, we're not just spreading, yeah. uh, you know, our, it ain't just our about band. Us. It's, it's, it's everybody. It's everybody. Yeah. So. You know, just we gotta all support each other and, and Tanner and I are look giving these you guys up. You know, look these guys up so. and and book through them, and they'll they'll Definitely. hook it up because they treat bands w- with respect. As long as you treat them with respect, they'll treat you. Yeah, you know, no pay to play, which is awesome. I mean, come on, in L.A. that's a, that's a yeah. rarity. You know what I mean? In Los Angeles. <laughs> Let's you know, be honest here. I mean, like I, so. you know, I want to say this too. I mean, uh, like. Um, 
for the bands that we do book, we try to like, uh, you know, if you guys bring, you know, your crowd, you know, more than you know your five minimum. We that's usually what we require: five minimum, ten minimum paying people that come to support your band right. and drink at their bar, basically. And that's how we could keep this thing going. Right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah like that's, that's how what it takes, man. I'm, well, yeah. I mean, money is what it takes. It, that's what it takes, you know. So. The more people you bring, you know, the more likely it is that we can actually, you know, give you guys back some actual, you know, something. Right. Like, right. Know? Yeah, because you got gas money and stuff. Well, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, we were we, 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 gas see, that's money. How, see, yeah. that's we were in a band. That's we were in a band. We understand that. You know. You know. Yep. Like, yeah, well, you get a, you know, you but there's a also a couple more like this, though. They're not the only ones that do this, of right. course. Yeah. Luckily, but, you know, but but it's still a great album. Yeah, it's, still, it's awesome. It's, yeah, so yeah. you know, you just try to, you know, try to do little things that'll set us apart from, you know, our, exactly you know, our peers, and and it's working. I mean, you've only been around for like three years, three or four years now, so obviously it's working. If there you go, you know, and cool. we we want to thank all the bands yeah, who play course. with us because you know it's hard, you know, just to show to the venue and put your stuff on the second floor as you say right you know right, right all I the roadies all the person who buy t-shirts or hey man if i can or when cds I from the bands and yeah. all that so i well help i'll help bands if i can if oh. i you know they need some right you know I mean? well i normally do yeah always i always i always do i take the pictures i take the videos and i help them Yep. And shout, and, uh, shout out to my dad too, who helps yeah, me exactly. with all my yeah. stuff too. He's, oh, for sure. yeah. he's, he's my hero, actually, <laughs> yes. to be honest. And I want to say that he's my hero because you know he has the passion, he supports his oh, yeah. son so much. Like you know, yeah, I, I he's the man. He's but everyone the, else is. In I, this room I went is to the high school too. with Les, so yeah, Les is I, uh, just awesome. amazing. Props to him. That's so all I'm gonna say sure. about and pop, that. Pop, pop, props yeah. to <laughs> Benny as well, you know, because <laughs> without Benny, the show wouldn't be possible. Yeah, of course. So without yeah, Benny, Benny, thanks for having us, show. man. You're welcome. Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't need any of that, but you're, thank you, and you're welcome. He provides the avenue outside so. the guests, ladies and gentlemen. That's yeah. thank how it so works. So, thank you so much. If you want to be on the show, you e you email my Benny the Breeze at radio Benny the Breeze at gmail dot com, right? Yeah. And if you want to be booked on the show which we'd love to have you on always yeah talk about the more know, the merrier we'll play your music world, it goes worldwide you know, yes so it ooh, does people in Russia and stuff can hear your, your right. stuff oh, you know. yep. that's everywhere uh, everywhere so you tell two friends we tell two friends and so on and so on and even though you, you're gonna have the, uh, the podcast right yeah yeah oh see that <laughs> double fun <laughs> yeah <laughs> most KTST FM at a home zone net radio I'm Benny the Breeze that's Tanner Poppet yeah, okay. Metal Invictus. Go look them up. Yeah, do all of that support good stuff. Your, support your local band. Support your local promoters. Yep. Support the people that are doing it right. Tip your bartenders. Tip your bartenders, Always too. Tip yes. your bartenders. Sound man. Yes. Yep. Sound Sound man. Talk Sound about man. their shoes. <laughs> yeah. If she's wearing them huge old golf clubs, talk about that. That's a three iron or a go, three so. wood. One, you know, my driver. Let's just have it. We'll be back what we'll is be, it? Wednesday. We'll be, We're yeah, moving we'll be, to Wednesdays. Moving to Wednesday. We'll have Guts on That's next right. Wednesday, so make go. sure and tune in. And, um, yeah, I'm going to end the show with a little, um, I guess, you know, a little past All right. band. So, um, Sweet. Uh, this band's called Believer. I, I I sometimes play them on the show, but I just love the band so much that I'm going to play them. Well, thank you, guys. All Appreciate right. it. So, thank yeah. you so much. Appreciate Benny. you guys yeah, thank coming you guys. in. All right, thank it's KTSD so FM. Yeah, come back in. Radio. Come come back anytime. on in uh, any time. Yeah. Let's do April if you guys want. Thank you. Sure. Sure. Just Thank you so email. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, cool, man. <laughs> All right, we're out. We'll see you next Wednesday. The Monday will mayhem turn into Wednesday mayhem.